All right, everybody. I want to show you our our Bosch style uh, map connector. This goes to it's right here. Here's our kit. Pick these up for like ten bucks. It comes with the pens, an extra pen, sills, the actual plug. It's weatherproof, all that good stuff. Uh, yeah. So I like I like these two and a half bar jam sensors. A because they're just right in the Holly drop down menu. You just click on them. All you gotta do to after you've done that is go and just you know double you know make sure that you've scaled your proper your uh, timing map and your fuel maps appropriately once you've changed the scaling on there. So. Pick that from the drop down menu make sure your your tables are correct and you got a pretty nice functional ac delco dependable part i like this as long as it, it provides good resolution uh like so my car is just a 5.3 little mild cam uh 78 75 turbo guy and i'm not really going over 20 pounds which is great because this thing maxes out at 21 pounds i believe 2.5 bar so it's one bar down two one and a half up you guys can go figure out that math, but they're they're nice. So I run these guys on my stuff, but the Holly, when provided, doesn't fit. Now you can go buy an adapter harness that plugs into this and then has this on the other end, and there you go, and it's twice as much, and you got a bunch of connections in between. So oh look, I'm bleeding. Hooray. I dropped my I dropped my uh depending tool behind my at my uh, table here, which is like the abyss. <laughs> I think I got bit by something that was living back there, possibly. Anyway, so you please forgive the bleeding. <laughs> it doesn't really bother me. Uh, yeah, so this map sensor guy, uh, the plug for the harness doesn't fit on any of the GM stuff or on any of the Holly stuff. So it's just easy to swap this out instead of dealing with this. So the, what you have to do is depend this guy, or you can just cut it off. It really doesn't make a difference. But I'll show you how to depend it since we're right here. Might as well, you'll get a two for how to depend this guy and how to uh, pen and depend this guy. So this is the inside of it. And the way you're looking at with a little clippy on the top, you're gonna see a rectangle with a little tiny rectangle on the top. And to get these wires out, all you have to do is stick your depending tool. Forgive me, my eyes are bad. Right on the top there, and you just kind of push it in until you feel it go boop. And then you can just pull these wires. Oh my goodness, that thing almost fell right out the back of the table again. I'm going to put this old messy leather glove that I use for a dolly, <laughs> for a dolly pad right over there. So yeah, that's how you get those out. Just stick the pinning tool in the little hole above the pin and it'll just pull out. So let me just cut those guys off because you won't need them. And then you got to know what the wires do. So you can go to Holly on their website, which is really nice, and you can print this guy out. So this guy is a wiring diagram. If you go to your specific, they have this in the, uh, they have this guy in the, the main Holly page, but it's not very high resolution. So if you go to your specific model, you know, like I have a Terminator X Max 58 uh, reluctor wheel, et cetera. You go there and then you drop down to the bottom, you'll see wiring diagram. You click on that guy and it'll give you a high resolution. You can blow up and it's really nice. And right over here somewhere is our map sensor and it tells us what all these are. So we have a, a sensor ground, a five volt power and the signal. So our signal wire, I wrote this all down, but you would use this guy. So our signal goes into number three as we're looking at. So in this picture, you're looking at it with a clippy guy up and facing the back, just like this. So three is going to be our signal wire, which is red and black. And our ground is two, it doesn't really say two, it just says BK, which just stands for Burger King, in case you guys are wondering. Uh, it's gonna be, our sensor ground is black and white. And then lastly, pin number one on this side is going to be our five volt, which is orange. Uh, I already pinned these guys because I've already done this video once and I messed up, so we're starting again. I figure you guys don't need me to see how to do all of them. I'll show you one, how we do it. So we get the little silicone guys and you stick it on there right just like that and uh you get your pen i'll show you guys this pen so it's got little wings on either side of it those pen those little wings are what pens into the clip and you guys will see up here you got like 
uh, a rectangle and you have a rectangle above and a rect that's like a small rectangle above and a small rectangle below. So that's where those guys lock into. And if you were to depend it, you just slide a depending tool in the top and the bottom, which would push those tabs down, those little wings right there. And then you can just pull it right out. So super easy to do. Um, you'll just put this guy, we use these GM crimpers. These guys are, uh, I've, I showed you these, they, you can pick these up on Amazon, they're like 120 bucks or not. They wrote the right guy, but the right guys are twice as much. So I'm broke. <laughs> you guys will have to forgive my brokenness. Taxes are due again, man. Quarterly taxes eating me up. So I just usually put this on my smallest one, which is the E and just kind of put it in the front part. You'll see the back part's got really tall wings and the front part's got kind of shorter wings and I'll just kind of squish it down. So it holds the pen for me like this. You guys can see it in there on the crimpers. And then what you do is you drop your little silicone guy right down into there. So the silicone rests in the little V, a little round part down there. And you give these guys a good squeeze. <clears throat> um, once I've crimped the wire, which we just did, I like to give it a really good pull, try to kind of pull the wire out. I'd rather it fail now and just try again than have issues in the car and then trying to figure out what, where the issues are coming from. These little guys, I'll just kind of push over towards each other a little bit. And then we grab our, what are these? These are the weather pack crimpers. So just to do the little silicone dilly on the end, because there's a round one on this guy. I'll just kind of use that, kind of turn it around. So when we get done crimping it, we should look something like this. Alrighty. Now we just got to get them in the right hole, which is where I messed up last time. I've always had problems with this. <laughs> so we got number three is going to be uh, our signal, which is the red and black. So we just slide that in there. So I put that little wing going up and down and it's just going to go into here. And when it goes in and drops in, it will. Are you working with me? not working with me there we go so <laughs> so you push those guys in there and you'll just hear it go click like that and it's locked in place and then our middle one is going to be our ground again little tabbies up and down we'll just stick it in the hole push it in it clicks in place and lastly will be our five volt power supply number one I'm just checking as I go along and again little tabby guys up and down locked in place and there you go. That's how you pin that guy and it's ready to clip on your map sensor and go. So if you just cut those guys off and match those wires up on that harness, you'd be good to go with that guy. So I think I covered everything. Um, I've already talked about all the tools and other videos. So that's how you pin the, uh, the two and a half GM bar connector guy. And that's the kit there. Uh, if you guys got any questions or if you need clarifications on how we're doing this, we're going to do this for all the connectors. Uh, please just drop a note down and be like, Mike, you're not doing X. I know I um and ah, I got that part. We're working on it. <laughs> but if there's technical stuff that we can do better here to show you and help you guys, let us know so we can do a better job presenting this uh, off my iPhone <laughs> in my shop. <laughs> so, appreciate you guys. Uh, until next time, this is Mike with Monkey Fab signing out.